back to Lloyd on the exhibition floor. Sydney, Athens, Beijing, 11 gold, four silver, one bronze, and today, Dave Roberts had the honour of opening Nadex. Dave, um, thank you very much for speaking to us. Uh, what's your impression so far of what you've seen? Very impressive. It's absolutely massive. I had no idea that it would be to this scale. And it's quite an exciting thing to see that there are so many people willing to sort of help disabled people's lives e become easier. So it's quite exciting to see that there are so many other things. And in particular, there's a, there's a special kiddie zone there where I've seen things today that I didn't even know existed, which is really good. And things that could have helped you younger and when you were in your younger days? Very definitely. I mean, I've only had a little sneak peek. I'm going to have a proper look later. But in particular, I've seen one thing already that a chairs for people with cerebral palsy, which allow you to sit without falling over. In school, unfortunately, I used to fall over an awful lot and I ended up in hospital three times where I actually fell onto a pencil and scratched my retina. If those chairs had been there, maybe that wouldn't have been such an issue and you know, maybe my sight in one of my eyes would be better than it is now. So just by looking at one stall, I've already found something that would, make, would have made my life easier. So That sounds like a very simple thing to think, doesn't it? If someone like you was falling over because you had cerebral palsy, putting some sort of restraint sounds like a good idea. Why didn't anyone think of it before? Uh, who knows, you know, technology changes every day. Everything seems simple when it's done, but until then, it seems impossible. And in the time that you have been a Paralympian, that you've been training for the Paralympics, how have you seen the emphasis on a, on a disability? I know you don't think of yourself as disabled, in fact, but see the emphasis on it change from what people can't do to what they can do. Um, well, I see it through a sporting perspective. When I went to Sydney, people looked at us as sort of disabled people who were there to, you know, swim, and we got a clap and we did OK. Athens, people begin to know who we were. Beijing, everybody knew who we were, and people were talking not about the disabled sport, they were talking about the sport. They were watching it, not because it was disabled people racing, they were watching it because it was people racing. And I think that's the biggest change, is that people are looking at us now as athletes and people as opposed to disabled athletes. And I think that's, that's a huge, huge step forward. And a few seconds on the next Olympics. I know you, you've been advising Seb Co on, on how to go about it. And um, what's going to be the difficult challenge there for the Paralympic part of it? Um, just putting on a show, you know. Beijing was possibly the greatest games I've been to. London has to follow it, but I think London has a major, major role to play. Disabled sport now has a foothold in British media and British life. London is a chance to get so many more people aware of dis disability sport, and it's going to be huge. And I think they just have to be honest and you know use it as a sporting spectacle and nothing else you know don't treat it as a disability sport spectacle it's sport and that's what we're there for so i think they have a huge opportunity to make it really really special with your help thank you very much dave for speaking to us we'll leave you to go and have a look around at the exhibits now and uh, with that from here at nadex it's back to the studio